Hi, everybody. This is Charity. Welcome back to the Super Sim series. So unfortunately, there is a new birth trait with the new Life at Death expansion pack, and Carla doesn't have it. So I did put out a poll, which is still running, by the way, if you want to go ahead and still vote. Um, that is still going on. And the majority has so far decided that we should try starting over Super Sim with the new trait. So what I'm going to do here is take Carla. Carla is going to be the grandmother. Grim is going to be the grandfather. Father Winter will be the father. And then we will basically use the babies from all of those unions as the other parent. So what that does is it gives us every single trait that Carla currently has will be preserved. And then we will have the Grim descendant trait. And that gives you a longer lifespan, which again, really isn't needed, but a whole lot of traits in Super Sim really aren't needed. The whole point of Super Sim is just to try to get all of the traits possible, not necessarily the ones that do you very much good. So I've moved here into Ravenwood and we're going to start with Carla. And the first thing that we need to do is to get rid of her spellcasterness. So we're going to go to the Magic Realm. And she has a spell for that, right? Oh, she doesn't even have her Glimmer Stone. She has nothing. I took her into a new save. So we do have the spell that takes her to the Magic Realm. And we need to find one of the Sages so that we can ask for the Rite of Disillusion. And the whole purpose of this is to turn Carla into a werewolf in order to get a dormant wolf. And of course, we're going to go see Greg. All right, where are you, Greg? There you are. The only thing is, I might win. Hopefully I still get bitten, even though I win. Because <laughs> Carla is actually pretty powerful. Oh yeah, we can ask for a bite. That's right, oh, whoops, oh well. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. <laughs> I could have done this an easier way. I forgot she had that besties friendly introduction. Oh, I still lost. I lost to Greg. I've beaten him before, but as a werewolf. Okay, well, we have werebees. That's all I wanted. All right, so we got a werewolf. And hopefully she kept everything. Yes, she kept everything. Look at that. 24 points. So basically that means I can immediately, hopefully, regain my um, control. And she's not going to regain control. Oh, that's fun. Okay, then we summon the Grim Reaper and we become besties with him. Okay, Grim, where are you? Okay, I don't know this Grim actually. Oh, let me change the house because the best way to get twins is through this on ley line lot trait. So under relationship, we're going to go for have a science baby and then ho hope Three. we get a dormant wolf. Dumb say, Ruhana. <laughs> so this will be the grandparents, Carla and the Grim Reaper. <laughs> so we have Annalise and Camilla, but most likely neither one will be the one that I need <laughs> because this took me a long time when I was testing. So hopefully Grim stays here for a little while. You can't immediately age them up either, which is super annoying. Oh, actually what I should do is just have a whole bunch of babies. Yeah, that's, that's probably better because Grim's time here is limited. I'm going to have to summon him again and it has a cooldown, so Let's just have more science babies and fill up the household with babies. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six babies. We still got room for one more, but I don't know if it's worth it to have one. Let's start aging them up. I'm going to really miss Carla's ability to teleport. Maybe we put them downstairs. Okay, we just need one of these to be a dormant wolf, and then they also have to be half alien. So I'm probably going to try to get as many dormant wolf as, as possible. Oh, and we got a dormant wolf already. See, she's Grimborn, and then she will have a child that is descendant of Grim. So I might not have to do this more than once. I've got a bunch of dormant wolves. Okay, that is something that I have noticed 
is that more often than not, if you have a werewolf parent and a non-werewolf parent, which Grim counts as a non-werewolf parent, you will get a lot of dormant wolves. Okay, was that all of them? I think I still have one more. Where is the one that I missed? Oh, there you are. You're over there in the corner. Okay, let's see how many did we get. We got Annalise, Camilla. Okay, so Nash is neither. Georgia, Jada, and Miracle. Okay, so only one. See, this is what I mean. If you have a werewolf parent and a human parent, you almost always get that dormant wolf. I wish I had known this when I had started this challenge because it took me forever to get this dormant wolf to show up with half alien. I had to have so many babies and it's so much easier if you don't have two werewolf parents because you don't get the greater wolf blood trait. You never get greater wolf blood. I had about 50 babies to test this out between a werewolf parent and a human parent and I never once got a greater wolf blood. They were always dormant wolves. So now we need to try and bake a cake. Carla, come make a cake. And then I'm going to lock you in there. Okay, so we can lock this door for everyone. And then she won't come out and mess with the infants. Because that's what they do. Whenever there's a bunch of infants on a lot, the parents will constantly go pick them up and put them down and pick them up and put them down. It's annoying. Oh, look, Grim is socializing with his babies. Oh, bye, Grim. Okay, Carla, hurry up. We need to find at least one infant that has the half alien. Um, oh, she stopped. Why did you stop? Yes, I know you can't get to the infants. That's the whole point. Oh, come on. They're going to interrupt her. Even if she's in a different room. Just go to night-night. Everybody go night-night. That's one thing I like about the uh, babies and toddlers in The Sims. Is that you can tell them to go night-night and they will go night-night. That does not work in real life. Okay. Now that we have the cake. We have Annalise. So she's an option. So we'll do Annalise first. Oh, it's so cute. I like the little top bun. Okay, now we have her blow out the candles again. We need her to be a teenager at least. That's the only way you can find out if they have that trait is if she's a teenager. All right, so now you're a child and you can blow out the candles yourself. Okay, so how you test this is on Carla. She is a half alien. You use the daughter and look under friendly and look for activities and she has secret handshake. So the first one we did, Annalise is the dormant wolf. She has all of the traits that we need and we need her to be an adult. So I'm going to go ahead and age her up to be an adult because she can't have kids otherwise. So we'll just go ahead and, and stick with Annalise. And basically what I'm going to do now is go to manage worlds and move out everybody else because I don't want all the other infants. <laughs> I need more room in the household. Okay, so now Carla has all the babies. <laughs> And then we need to have a baby with Father Winter. So we need to start a holiday, which I should have done before and I completely forgot to do. All right. So it is Tuesday at 1 a.m. Oh, am I going to be able to start a holiday in today? No, it's going to have to be tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, that's what I get for not paying attention. Okay. We'll add a holiday, Father Winter. Okay, so we only have strong bloodline. In order to increase it to ancient bloodline, we need one person to be a spellcaster. So since Annalise is a dormant wolf, she can be a spellcaster and increase this to ancient bloodline. And then Father Winter has to be a werewolf. So we'll go turn her into a spellcaster next, which means we have to visit the magic realm. Okay, and then we're in the magic realm, and let's introduce ourselves to Elfaba. And we're becoming a spellcaster. 
Now we just have to wait for Father Winter. We have to sleep through all of Tuesday. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh, wait. Father Winter is here. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm not even paying attention. Hi, Father Winter. We at least need to get a friendly introduction. Because if I get a friendly introduction, I can just ask him to join my household almost immediately because of Social Bunny. By the way, if you get tired of this um, thing not being on the right page, you just have to post at least once, tag us him, and then you can be on this page the rest of the time. And it's easier to do that. And yeah, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit with Social Bunny here because I completely missed him showing up and he's about to leave. So I got to add him to my household quickly. Now that we're best friends. Yeah, it's under relationship now, I think. Yeah, ask to join household. I don't like this menu. This relationship menu throws me off. It hides things that I don't know about. <laughs> okay. If we ask him to join the household, then we get 500,000 simoleons and we'll have plenty of money to have science babies. Super Sim was never about earning money. Okay, he has to join the household because we have to turn him into a werewolf. And also I like getting his 500,000 simoleons. And then we need to immediately turn him into a werewolf because I forget that sometimes. So back to Greg. Oh, the one thing about Father Winter that I do not like, he is not an elder, by the way. He's an adult is that he walks so slow. <laughs> so when I tell him to go over here to um, see Greg, it's a really long walk. And he just takes forever. There we go. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, there you are. And where's Greg? Right there. We'll provoke Greg. And we'll get werebees. Come fight me. Okay, so... Now we have werebees. Okay, so I didn't forget anything. Annalise is a spellcaster. Father Winter will be a werewolf. And then we just have to make sure that the baby is a half alien with greater wolf blood. And then that will be our new Super Sam. All right, time for him to transform. And he doesn't have the um, ability to regain control. So we're just going to have to wait for him to rampage. We're just going to lock him in here and wait for him to come out of it. All right. So since he is no longer transformed, now we can take Clements to the lighthouse after we build a romantic relationship. Okay. So we need to try for baby in lighthouse. So we need to have a romantic relationship with Clement. Now we take both of them to the lighthouse. I'm not sure if it's where you have the baby or where you conceive the baby, but I take no chances because every time I forget to change the lighthouse to on ley line, they only have one baby. So I'm thinking it's, oh, you're sad. Okay, well, at least you're flirty. Now, I don't think we had a first kiss yet. You have to have a first kiss before they will woohoo. Now I'm going to say go here together instead of trying to woohoo immediately because what will happen is she will run and Clement will walk and she will have to stay there forever waiting on him to get there. <sighs> See, she's running. He can't be bothered. I don't know why, but he just can't be bothered. It's not like he's lazy or anything. He is childish, good and cheerful. Why don't you run? You never run. <laughs> and anybody else will run. And she has no fitness, so it's not his fitness level. Oh, no, wait. She has level one fitness, but still. Okay. Well, just do some push-ups or something <laughs> because you're going to be waiting a little while. I don't want her to go off and do something else while he's walking there. Okay, there we go. All right, so try for baby. Okay, Annalise, are we pregnant? Or do we have to do that again? We're pregnant. Okay. Eating for two. All right. It is Friday at 8 p.m. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So Monday at 8 p.m. And that is important to know because I'm going to take them back home and then switch over to a vampire household in order to fast forward three days so that this doesn't take as long. Otherwise, it takes a long time. I can just play Vlad. All right. So... 
the reason why you choose a vampire is because of the um, ability to hibernate and not wake up. And then set no trespassing to disallow everything so that you won't get people knocking at your door. And this will also stop the, we the welcome wagon. And then go pick his coffin and have him hibernate. And this also keeps his needs from going down. And then this just makes it so much easier. It's almost like having a science baby. Sometimes I will also put the private lot or private dwelling lot trade on. But I don't know if that makes a difference or not. It's good to be in Forgotten Hollow because I find that all of the other worlds have way too many people walking around. And sometimes people will just come into your house for no reason. And I don't know if they fixed that bug or, or not yet. I know it was on the schedule to be fixed, but I don't know if they actually released it. And I want to stop it a little bit early. I don't want it to go past the birth because I want to witness the birth and name the child. <laughs> oh, come on. Someone must be at my door. When it stops fast forwarding, it's because somebody is on your lot. Yep, the mailman. Okay, go away, mailman. Go away. And it's still not going super speed. All right, well, we're pretty close. We made it almost all the way to Monday on triple, or not triple speed, but uh, we are on triple speed, but it's super speed when you have someone sleeping. And look, his needs are not going down at all. I love vampires sometimes. Okay, I don't know why it's not going back to triple speed. Nobody's here. All right, well, that's close enough. If I just want to go at regular triple speed, I might as well stay in the household. <laughs> the only reason why I switch households is to go at super speed. All right, so yeah, she's at give birth in question mark. So now we can just regular triple speed until she gives birth. I do go to the hospital for the super sim because that's the only way you can get a birth certificate. So I try to keep some things, you know, some mementos of the Super Sim. All right. So she's in labor right at 8.05 p.m. So we're going to go to the hospital. You don't have to bring anyone, but you do have to join them. Otherwise, you will not get a birth certificate. And I find that so unfair because there's no way to order one online. You get a baby prince, but no birth certificate. And I want both. All right. Potential Super Sims. Which one is it going to be? All right. So we have a boy. Nolan and a girl, Riley. Looks like we have spellcasters, or at least one. So Riley may be a spellcaster. Sometimes I find that the bassinets do not match. Most of the time they do. But every once in a while, I'll get a bassinet that doesn't match. Okay, so there is no point to having a newborn. We're going to age both of these babies up and then save the game. As soon as we can. I think we have one spellcaster and one werewolf. It takes a little while. All right, let's age up the werewolf first, or at least the one that's in the werewolf bassinet. Nolan, happy birthday. Okay, so, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> we have a greater wolf blood. That's lucky. Um, the only thing is we still have to make sure he's in half alien. So We'll age up the other one. I'm pretty sure this is a spellcaster, though, so she probably will not be eligible to be the Super Sim. Oh, no, she's not a... See what I mean? She's a werewolf. And this is a spellcaster bassinet. Sometimes they don't match. They're supposed to match. I think it's maybe based on the parents, not on the kid. Because it's just random sometimes. All right, well, we have two greater wolf bloods. Uh, what we'll do is we'll save the game. And then we're going to um, age them up to teenagers and see which one of them, one or both, who knows, is a half alien. And then you can reboot the game with your old save point and start with Super Sim from there. Because you can't tell if they have the half alien trait until they're a teenager. And I'm not going through all that trouble just to find out later that they don't have that trait. I allow a restart because that's not cheating. Let's age up the kids. We'll age up the boy first since he was the first born anyway. Okay, Clement, say happy birthday to Nolan. And then hurry up and add candles so the toddler doesn't get it. And then blow out the candles again. And this time you can do it yourself. And then we need to wake up Annalise because you can't do it when she's asleep. And then friendly. Oh, he is not a half alien. Because there's no activities. Well, 
Nolan, you are not the one. Let's try Riley. <laughs> it would be really, really lucky if I got it on the first try. I'm surprised I got two greater wolf bloods. Happy birthday, Riley. Okay, Riley, blow out the candles again. Now, they can't possibly be identical twins. So I still have a chance to get the half alien because they're one boy and one girl, which means they have to be non-identical twins. If you get two boys or two girls and they look identical, then they will have the same traits or lack of trait. Okay, blow out the candles. You need to be a teenager. All right. So, Riley, you have white hair for whatever reason, probably from Clement Frost. And we have the secret handshake. So, yeah, we have our sim. Now, her appearance um, doesn't really matter. Because you can change all that in Kaz. I can even change her gender. So we don't have to worry about boy versus girl or, you know, light skin, dark skin, blue skin, doesn't matter. We can always fix that. <laughs> but we do have a sim. And this was amazing. On the first try, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that easy. What we would do at this point is just exit the game because we aged her up and we wouldn't save because we need her to be an infant. We can't have her start as a teenager. So for anybody who's following along with Super Sim, this is how you can fix your old Super Sim to have the new trait and start over if you would like. How many of you are working on Super Sim? How much have you accomplished? Let me know in the comments and feel free to self-promote any video channels you have running a Super Sim series. Is it worth starting over? I can't lie. I pretty much have to start over because I'm a perfectionist and a completionist. I'm also going to import 10 families for the save wide goal of playing 10 families for 10 generations. Let me know if I can use yours from the gallery. And as always, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.